Hello again. Back for another set of Assassin's Creed um, Rogue Remastered. So a bit of time has passed. Um, as you can tell, I have made some money and mainly spent my time just going across um, certain territories. So I've revisited the first place where the game kicked off. Um, a couple other little uh, areas I've dropped off to see. I haven't gone anywhere further else, and we're now here. So, we were supposed to meet up with Chevalier and um, another member of the Assassin Order here to progress further in the story. And, yes, so let's just see how that goes. Ammunition. Now, they say that I should upgrade my ship before starting the mission, but I suppose we'll get something out of it, this. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? Got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wounded friends. Not too bad for Shane, it. So we now have the Puck guns. So these used to be in Black Flag. These were our side cannons, so when we did damage, we'd get little targets that we could pick off and we'd use the side cannons to uh, instill a little bit of damage. But now with the Puckles, whenever we get uh, weak points, our guns are now able to do more damage. And with the greatest success of fire rate as well. Then I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a Chauvian mood, Shane. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and we'll soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Target map is a ramp, and the lights itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye, he sails these very waters. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. Hmm. Ha. Ah. coming There in. he is. Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Fire. Our target's a smart man. Now that we're down here. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to beat someone. Or rather to your pirates. He's refitting his ship. So something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known enough. But he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templar's wealth, doesn't he? With him out of the way, Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Fire! Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. In 
worked. The way is clear. Uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. The boat patrols these waters closely, Captain. It's an ambush. Halfway you see Diablo Lafayre. Smith must not escape. He hoped to be a spectator of your device. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. <laughs> Ten upgrades now available. I wonder where he's trying to disappear to. And Mr. Smee. That storm could be dangerous. What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Just slowly but surely getting Wait, over get there. Now we know where he was headed. The bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I take care of this. All right, time for ourselves to kill a Templar. Just double check just to be sure. Just to kill Smith with an air assassination.
Think about what you're doing, assassin. Your brotherhood is using you. Oh! Back here, you... <clears throat> this cannot be. <clears throat> no! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <clears throat> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. There we go. Another job well done. And there's now burning oil. We're slowly making it, aren't we? At this rate. Hmm. Although we do need to find a viewpoint for this place, don't we? That is, if there is one. Terra Nova. We probably may have to come back for that. Decipher the hidden code behind these native totems to uncover an ancient artifact. Align all the lines and the arrow. Hmm. 
Well, we found something. What is it that we found? All can be recovered. There's only just one more collectible, which um, we would get our hands on. Yeah. We need a powder keg or a shrapnel grenade to do that job for us. And why did you do that, Shay? Job done. <laughs> oh, wow, he's, um, I've got the precursor box. Hooray. It's dead. Well done. So where are we supposed to go now? Okay, River Valley. Slowly but surely we are working through this. Ha ah. Oh, I just had an awkward stretch. All right, here we go. Interesting. No soul. I've got to give it to Ubisoft at their time when they were doing this sort of stuff for the gaming that they would do such nice small features. This being one of them. Even though it probably isn't seemingly small, but it's something that you can pleasingly listen to while sailing. There's 
Albany. Okay. There's quite a lot of stuff here, but we can't progress any further since... Well, when I say progress any further, there are some contracts or things to do here which are just not um, available just yet. Hmm. What service can I provide? That is a good question. What service can you provide me? Now, we can invest with more hull. We can also invest in the broadside cannons since we've got enough uh, metal for it. Um, heavy shots. Can't do anything with the mortar just yet. Burning wall strength we could do. The ram upgrade. Round shots. That money it costs and the resources. But for now, I'll get us some more cannons. And have more armor. Do that. So the Morrigan can take more damage and has got a little bit more capacity of output of damage. Seems it's going to require a bit of effort for me to get to this target if he is here. Somebody summon the watch now. City man. Spice, come on.
you're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Okay. Sneaking to Congress undetected. Fair enough. Who's he? Never heard of him. Want me to sneak into Congress undetected? Yeah, all this shizzle. must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript. Or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cop up the manuscript post haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. It is a bit cheaty, I will have to admit, but um
There we go. Do not stop on my behalf. Again, young man, we will make a soldier out of you. I'm not licking it. I'm here. Not yet, not yet. And um. A 
I'll take that. You Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Another memory done. Alright, I'll catch you guys later on in the next episode.